Good morning. Um, yeah, I woke up irritated. Irritated, angry. Every, everything above. Just go everything above. Yesterday on my radio show, Straight From The Heart, we covered the passing of George Floyd. And, you know, just discuss what where we are as a world, man. And the term white privilege, it's it's real. If you don't understand the definition, if you don't understand the use of it, then you're fucking blind. You're blind and you're and you're choosing to ignore our now reality. I'm just gonna back up. I'm gonna back up to the to the white woman that was in Central Park that had the dog called the cops on the black man and her threat was I'm going to tell them that there's a angry African American man threatening me. And that was her threat. Her threat was to just say that there's an African American man because there's consequences that come with being an African American man, which is just being an African American man. That was her threat. That was her threat. And that's what she was using. In today's time, that's what's known. It's known that I can bring harm your way by just telling someone that you're black. That's a fucking problem. It's been a problem, but the problem is on full display right now. It's on full display. And then George Floyd, George Floyd's death is another pure display of hatred, racism at the highest level. And after it's over, the thing that can almost, that can almost at least correct is immediate reaction of consequences. And instead we wait. We wait. As a system, you're flawed. You're not only flawed, you're just, you're wrong on every level. And the only way to make anything better is to fucking fix a broken system. There needs to be immediate consequences. That man needs to be thrown in jail for life. Not in weeks, now. If it was a black man, we know he would be in jail now. And by we, I'm talking about everybody. We as people know he would be in jail. There needs to be consequences brought to the other officers that were on hand because you got a duty to do. Your job is to save lives, not take them. That's your job. When you get called to a scene, the last thing you want to do is take a life. You're trained to try and save lives. That's what your job is. So when you're taking them and you're amongst a group of people that witness it, then you're all guilty. Point blank. You're all guilty. And the only people that seem to be falling victim to these type of consequences are people of color. People of color are the ones that have fallen victim to our quote unquote accidents. It's not accidents, man. It's not accidents. It's fucking senseless. Fix the system as, as a fucking city, state. Fix your flawed fucking systems. Cops need to be held accountable. Jail, life. You take a life, give your life. Life. If you were on hand and you didn't stop that senseless murder from happening, you get time too. That's what a law should say. So every cop now has a severe consequence to their actions. Hold people are fucking accountable. Be accountable. As a city and state, you're accountable. He should be in fucking jail now. The fact that he's at his home, some home, whatever home, it's ridiculous. How? So don't sit up here and look and, and judge now. We got a culture of people that are expressing themselves in anger and rage. At some point, you get fed up. At some point, enough is enough. Show that you give a shit and fucking take action.